Well, a hunter from Boise woke up to quite a surprise. A black bear was gnawing on his head. Jake Lieber spoke to the survivor. He's live to explain how the man got away from this bear. Yeah, he was in a deep sleep out in the woods when he felt a tug on the back of his head, looked up and saw an enormous black bear right above his face. Stephen Vouch was on a 16 day hunting trip with two friends in central Idaho's Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness last week. When one night around 2 a.m., he had a rude awakening. Not a growl, but kind of a deep puff, like puffing his chest up, you know, sitting there on his, on his back, just <sighs> that was what I could hear. The over 200 pound black bear then bit Vouch's head. The pain, it was literally just like somebody would grab a handful of your hair and when they start ripping actually your hair out, those little tingles that you feel, that's what I felt. And that was a sensation that woke me up and made me throw my arm back. He reached for his gun, but the bear knocked it aside. Meanwhile, a friend shot the bear once and it fled to a nearby tree. Then Vouch shot it again, killing it. Somebody who's out there camping with food at night, you know, if they're leaving trash, empty cans, um, uh, remnant food around the campfire. Uh, those are all attractants um, to bears. Vouch was medically treated right afterwards and did not require stitches. A rabies test on the bear came back negative. And despite the close call, Vouch says it won't discourage him from hunting in the future. I don't blame the bear. I am a slow protein compared to an elk and a deer, and I'm laying on the ground right there for his pickings. Vouch said next time he's going to use a tent instead of sleeping out in the open just in a sleeping bag. Live in Boise, Jake Lieber, KBOI 2 News.